Well, hello my friends and happy Sunday to you. So today is our our um, seventh collage paper challenge. And I apologize if you hear some strange noises. I got two dogs in here. We have, um, we actually lost one of our puppies. He wasn't a puppy, he was an old man, but he was my best friend a couple months ago. And so we just got a new one. And I've forgotten what it's like having a new young pup in the house. It's like having a two year old all over again. So I can't leave him alone because I, I don't know what he's going to get into. So he's in here with me along with our big girl um, who's just completely annoyed by him. <laughs> so he's got a squeaker and a couple other things. So you might hear that as I'm talking. So I apologize. But today is our collage paper challenge. And we're on number seven. If you have been following along and this along with the details is in the subscriber library. It's also in the membership too. So today is this awesome color palette and it's really um, colors that I don't regularly go to. Um, so that'll be a fun color mixing kind of thing. Tucker. And um, the the prompt is letters and numbers. Makes me very happy. So I have lots of ideas for that and I want to share that with you. Before I do that, um, Howl at the Moon is still on early bird pricing and you can get that for another, by the time you see this, another week of early bird pricing. And then I do have some new shirts in the shop. Um, this one says paint is my therapy. The other one says perfectly imperfect. And the other one is show up, make a mess, repeat. And um, they're super fun. Just, you know, kind of fun. The uh, perfectly imperfect it looks a little vintagey. Um, they come in all kinds of colors, short sleeve and long sleeve. So um, you can check those out too if you want. So new workshop, t-shirts. All the supplies will be listed um, below. There's, there'll be a link below um, to the supplies and everything. That's also the supplies and stencils and everything that I use are also listed in the uh, weekly email. If you're not a subscriber to the email, you can subscribe. I have that link down below as well. You get updates from everything that's going on. Um, all the new videos, it goes straight to the video and then you have all the supplies. It's like a blog post, but it comes right to your um, inbox. So, and then what else was I going to tell you? I have new stencils today. So when I saw the prompt, this is what happens when you're a stencil designer. I saw the prompt. I'm like, I have a lot of letters um, and number stencils, but I wanted a few more <laughs> because I wanted some big ones and I wanted some different fonts. So I went a, a little crazy because Letters and numbers are kind of my thing, along with collage and all that. Okay, so enough talking. Let's start looking. So I have my journal out here. Let's scooch it over a little bit. This is my regular journal that I have been doing all of my collage paper um, prompts in, along with a whole lot of other things. But like I think that was the last one. Um, and I have out some... Uh, like neutral collage papers. No, I'm reusing what I have. So I have some neutrals to initially start the background. And then I have, um, I've pulled some. Now these colors are not colors that I have. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Tucker. Um, I tried to get close and then I will do some color over the top of them. But like that one's kind of close. So this will be fun, a fun challenge for color mixing for sure. And then like this is a cream, but it's more yellow. It's got a yellow undertone to it. So I'll have to do some, it's closer to like a Titan buff, but it's got this yellow-ish color. And then these are not raw umber. They're more like a um, burnt umber. So, and this has a little bit of a reddish tint to it. 
So we'll have to try and see what we can get for those colors. But I did try to pull, I tried to pull some colors that might be similar. Um, and even if they're similar, I'll go back over them with some color, maybe a color wash or something. So I've got a few of those. This one's kind of close to that one. And then, like, just trying to find something close. So anyway, I, um, like, this has kind of got a yellow undertone. So I thought this would be a good base for color over the top and maybe pattern over the top. So when I was like, oh, I, you know, maybe some pattern over the top, I thought, well, I could do number pattern or I could do other patterns too. And then, so then I thought, okay, so I've got, and then I've also got a, a, a bit of black and white out because our color palette plus black and white or neutrals, black, white, raw umber, which I already kind of have those. So it'll most likely be black. Um, and then these were like cleanup pages that I thought would be great to use for um, some gel printing. That's that's the other thing I was going to tell you I wanted to do is do a little bit of gel printing. But I was kind of trying to find, like this is a really cool, like this color right here is, is very similar. So this would be a good one to kind of go over with this color and maybe a pattern or something like that. Same with these ones as well. And this color actually was really close. No, nope, see, it's not yellow enough, but you can see it's got a little bit of yellow undertone. Anyway, um, I'm gonna reuse these and hopefully take some gel prints on top of this in my colors, in the color palette. So I plan to do a little bit, not a ton. I say that now, but it's, it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple of pages in gel printing, never happens. So I have my 12 by 12 gel plate out and that way I can kind of do a couple of pages at once. And I have my brayer ready to go. Now, and then I have some pattern stencils that I was thinking about. Um, where are those? Just some fun ones. Just like, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A couple, couple different ones. I haven't quite landed on the pattern stencils yet. But I have some font, really cool font stencils that I did that I'm going to use because I'm. I'm going to have my color background with a little bit of color pal uh, pattern and then the focus is going to be letters and numbers. But I did some big ones because I, I, want, I want to kind of go small to big. And these will all be available in the shop. And the reason I want to do gel printing is because I don't want fresh, clean numbers, maybe one or two. I want them to look a bit grungy and gel printing is perfect for that. So like this one, this one's just a mismatch of all different kinds of things, numbers and then symbols. And then these are just numbers and these are a little bit spread out. So you have a little bit more control. These are really smooshed together. So you're going to get kind of a run on of things. but some really fun fonts. Same thing with this one. Is that this? Yeah. So same thing with this one. This one's kind of a mix mash um, of letters and numbers, which I, I make one on the computer look kind of like this. So now I can do this on my gel plate or what, however, just with the spur of the moment. And then, you know, the rest of the alphabet in the big ones. This font. This font. And, of course, the big ones. So, 
those are all new and in the shop and ready for you um, if you would like. Um, all the older stencils that I use today, you know what, I'm just going to make them all on sale. Um, yeah, let's make them all on sale. Normally I don't put new stencils on sale, but um, because of what we're doing and the, the um, challenge, I'm just going to make them all on sale. So my plan is to put neutral papers down first, do some color in my color palette over the top, and do collage of color over the top as well in my gel plates. And then I want to kind of build up this kind of abstract feeling of a ton of just stacked numbers and letters. And I don't know exactly how that's going to look yet, but those most likely will be black, um, black and white, black and maybe the cream, I think. Not exactly sure yet, but that's kind of my plan. Um, my pages have been gessoed. I have out a couple of different greens because I, this is kind of a blue green. So I have some teal that I could mix with my greens. I have some cerulean blue or what is this cobalt blue um, that I could mix with my greens to kind of get this color. And then um, this is hooker's green. And then I have my Titan Buff and my um, titanium, unbleached titanium, and then I'll have my gesso and a little bit of cad yellow, I think. No, that's not right. I was going to go um, yellow ochre, I think. I'm not exactly sure. This is like a orangier. I don't think that will work. I think it needs to be more of a subdued... Oh, Naples yellow. That's what I was going to do. Naples yellow. I think that will give me... I'm not sure, though. So it's going to be some experimenting. And then I have my uh, raw umber. And I will use Titan Buff or um, Unbleached Titanium and Gesso to kind of get these exact right colors. I may need to add some sienna to that to kind of get that orange undertone. Anyway, that's that's kind of what I'm planning for my, my color mixing and my composition of my journal page. Okay, so that is the plan. We'll see where it goes. Um, I'm so excited. I love my the collage paper challenge. Um, all the information's in the subscriber library or the membership and library is free. And let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Howl at the Moon, early bird pricing, new stencils, new t-shirts, all kinds of stuff happening. New puppy. Tucker, you want to say hi? That's Tucker. He's a good boy. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, my loves, um, I hope you enjoy the challenge. I hope you are creating and being challenged by it and being able to use up your collage papers. So when I do my gel printing, I'm not going to be using new paper. I'm going to be using existing collage papers that I have because that's the goal is to not create new ones, but to use what I have. So, okay, I hope you enjoy this and we'll see where it goes. Um, I hope that your Sunday is restful and peaceful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.